Let's continue. Newton described the forces for point sources. Means it's very uh, sources which are of minimum masses. Objects which have with having minimum masses. The property of gravitation described it is a force of attraction, no repulsion. It is not affected by medium. It acts for long distances at conservatives. These are the properties of gravitation. Let's conclude this statement given by Newton. If the masses of one object is double, the force between the two is doubled. If as it is directly proportional, if the mass is increasing, the force is also increasing. The second is, if the distance between the two objects is double, the force decreases by the factor of 4. That means here, as it is inversely proportional, if the distance increases, the force decreases by a factor of 4. Means if the distance is increased by 2, is double, multiplied into 2, then the, it is decreased by the factor of 4. The force is a vector quantity. The, the direction of force is always along the line joining the center. What was the third point I said? The force is a vector quantity. So, the line joining or the, the direction of force is always along the line joining the center. If suppose we have a spherical body, that is a circular body. Two objects which are circle. We know the point, cent, cent, these are the centers. So, the center of mass is always at the geometrical center. So, the line joining, this is the line joining and the force will be acting along this line. But when we have not spherical objects, uh, irregular objects, suppose like this one object and like this one object. Here, these are non-spherical objects. There is a force of attraction between these two objects too. If the bodies are not spherical, the direction of forces along their center of masses. What is the meaning of center of masses? I want to fo you to focus on center of mass. What do you mean by this is? A point representing the mean position of the matter in a body. It can be anywhere of this object. Suppose for this object if it is there and for this object if it is there, then the points, uh, the force of action will be between this line, the point, where the, uh, the representing the mean position of matter of both these objects along that will be the force direction of force of these two objects. For spherical object it will be along the geometrical centers and for uh, non-spherical object it will be along the center of masses.